Hi, welcome to Easy Beta channel. Myself Ravi Kumar. In this video, I am discussing about the what is the how to solve the problem on three phase balanced load delta connected load system. That is, if the given load is in the form of delta, then how to calculate the three phase circuit parameters that is, phase values, line values, as well as active power, reactive power, apparative power. Okay, that is, I am taking the for example, the problem is three phase coil, three coils A, B, C are connected in the form of delta, and the given values are. The resistance is 9 ohms and reactance is 12 ohms. Then they are connected in delta to a three phase supply 440 volts 50 hertz supply. Then calculate phase current, line current, power factor, total KVA, active power, and reactive power. Okay, this is an example based on the delta system. That's why the given system is in the form of a delta connected load that's why first of all you can draw the delta connected load system and also it is a balanced system balanced means all and all impedances in delta load are equal okay this is the shape of the delta then this delta is connected to three phase supply that is r phase y phase and b phase then this is impedances zvh okay the impedance always you can represent in the form of phase values that is zvh Okay, here the given supply is 440 volts that means in between three phases the supply is 440 volts between any two phases the supply value of supply voltage is same that is 440 volts and the given frequency also same that is 50 heads so this is the given values and also the value of impedance is given in the form of resistance and impedance that is the resistance value is in this problem given 9 ohms and reactance value is 12 ohms that's why total impedance is 9 plus J12 then all in balance system the three impedances are equal 9 plus J12 between any two phases so first of all you must draw the the delta system based on the given values then after that you have to write down what are the given values in the problem which are given that is the voltage is given that is 440 volts here by default in for uh, delta system we know the relation between the line voltage as well as phase voltage in delta system and the frequency also given 50 hertz then in delta system line voltage equal to the phase voltage that is the line voltage which is equal to the phase voltage in case of delta system that's why vl equal to vph equal to 440 volts the given supply which is delta system the given voltage is 
it is both line voltage as well as phase voltage and also given in this problem the resistance value is 9 ohms the reactance value is 12 ohms it is a coil that's why the given value is inductance that's why we have inductive reactance xl equal to 12 ohms that's why therefore total impedance is r plus jxl then 9 plus j xl value is 12 in problem is clearly mentioning the coil resistance and the coil reactance that's why the coil consists of inductance that's why the reactance given is inductive reactance xl okay then this rectangular form you must convert into equivalent polar form that is 15 at an angle 53.13 degrees okay this is the polar form of the given impedance value we know when the impedance value you must convert into the polar form that angle is called phase angle of the system which is represented by angle phi which is angle obtained in impedance value that angle is called the phase angle phi of the system that is value is 53.13 degrees then after that what is the first value you have to find out in this problem the given problem you have to find out phase current line current power factor and powers first of all you have to find out phase current what is mean by the phase current value it should be find out That is the first value you have to find out the phase current which is represented by I P H. We know according to Ohm's law V equal to I Z. From that the value you have to calculate is phase current that is I P H. That's why the voltage also phase voltage by the impedance also phase impedance. That is V Z V by Z P H. We know the value given VPH is 440 and ZPH we have to calculate the magnitude is 15 from the the phase current value is 29.33 ampere which is the value find out that is phase current 20, 29.33 33 ampere then after finding the phase value then immediately we can find out what is the value of the line current that is the second value you have to find out is line current which is denoted by i into l that is i l not i into l i l Therefore, we know in case of delta system, what is the relation between the line current as well as phase current? That is, line current equal to root 3 into phase current that is I L equal to root 3 into I P H already we find out I P H value in first bit then from that we have to find out what is the line current value that is 
23 then you have to simplify that equation the calculation you can obtain 50.8 that is therefore the line current in delta system in this problem is 50.8 ampere so that is the second bit similarly already in before calculations we have to find out the phase angle of the system that phase angle is angle phi that value is 53.13 degrees that is the the phase angle of the impedance which value should be obtained that is the phase angle of the total entire system from that we have to find out power factor you know the formula of power factor is cos phi that is the cosine of the angle then cos of 53.13 the value of cos 53.13 is 0.6 this value is positive value that's why the angle is that is the power factor is lagging power factor suppose in calculation you should obtain the negative value power factor in terms of negative value then that power factor is the leading power factor okay and the value of power factor in calculation you should get obtain positive values it is lagging power factor or the value is negative value that is leading power factor so this is the cos phi value power factor then similarly what is d bit that is what is total kva which is denoted by letter s nothing but this is called the apparent power total apparent power of the three phase system which is denoted by letter s the formula is root 3 into vl into il or 3 into vph into iph that is 3 vi we know the line values are or we also replace with the phase values also then s equal to root 3 into the line voltage is 440 into the line current is 50.8 hence you can make the simplification the value is 38.71 in the form of kva okay the value which is calculated in the form of kilos that's why the unit becomes kva kilo volt ampere this is the the value of the apparent power and the next value you should calculate is active power which is denoted by capital P. We know the formula for active power is root 3 into VL IL cos phi in, the, in terms of uh, line values or in terms of phase values are 3 VI cos phi. By default, it is a phase value. You can replace any values then you have to find out the the value of 
total active power that is root 3 into what is line voltage 440 what is line current 50.8 and cos phi you know already cos phi value is calculated that is 0.6 then you can simplify the calculation you should obtain the value is 23.23 kilowatt that is total active power in three phase delta system or in calculation you also mention in terms of work that is 23.23 into 10 power 3 in terms of watts okay that is all values all power you must calculate it in the form of kilos kva kw or kvr in the same manner you should calculate the last value that is total reactive power of the given delta system that is what is the power which can be observed by the impedance so we know the formula for total reactive power is root 3 into vl into il into sin phi or in the form of phase value 3 into vph into iph sin phi okay already we know the values of vl il root 3 into vl is 440 IL is 50.8 and we know the angle is phi that is sine of 53.13 degrees therefore total reactive power is you can calculate is the value is 30.97 kvar kilo volt ampere reactive so like that you have to calculate all three phase parameters that is active power reactive power apparent power power factor line current phase current or phase voltage line voltage or the phase angle of the system in case of delta as well as in case of star also okay suppose the given system is star then by default the given voltage is vl that is line voltage 440 in star we know the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage we are equal to root 3 into vph from that we have to find out phase voltage okay like that all three phase parameters phase values line values phase angle power factor or powers total reactive power reactive power apparent power then also you can draw the three phase circuit diagram based on the given values also okay remember by default the given problem the voltage is the line voltage suppose the given system is delta system in delta we know the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage that's why vl equal to vph that is the given voltage 440 is is either line or phase but in case of star the by default in the given problem the given voltage is three phase voltage is line voltage then we have to find out phase voltage vl equal to root 3 into vph from that vph equal to vl by root 3 in case of star suppose the given problem is in case of star load is given the same problem then you have to find out the phase voltage also but in case of star the phase current equal to the line current both are both values are equal line currents are equal okay now like that you have to make different calculations based on the three phase circuit given star load as well as delta load which is balanced so balanced means all values are equal okay in balanced system remember the phase voltage you have to or phase current also you have to find out only once at a time not we are finding all phase currents why because 
is a balanced system all phase currents are equal in magnetic source but difference but all uh, phase values are displaced by 120 degrees each other okay now that is for example here the phase angle given i am showing you how to calculate the phase angles of the for phase system suppose we have calculated the phase current is or line current also that is what is the value of phase current 29.33 at an angle 53.13 okay now suppose this is the phase we have to find out the phase suppose i or y then what is the current i y b the value is same 29.33 but displaced by 120 degrees each other that is you can add minus 120 to the phase angle that is 53.13 minus 120 what is the angle here 29.33 minus 173.13 that is the phase angle between i r y i y b is phase difference is 120 degrees in the same manner other phase i b r the value is same 29.33 but displaced by 240 here minus 240 that is 53.13 minus 240 degrees That's why in the, the same manner, you can find out the phase angle also, 29.33 at an angle minus 293.13. But here, observe all phase current values are equal in three phases. Why? Because the given system is balanced system. That's why there is no need to find out the all values. All current magnitude values are equal. That's why you can find out all phase values once at a time. There is no need. To find out the all three phase values okay. please subscribe our channel and share to your friends